What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 25, problem 8, in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jero Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 25 is all about capacitance, and in problem 8, we are given a figure that has some capacitors in series and in parallel, and we are asked to find the equivalent capacitance of the entire system. And so I would like to start with capacitors 1 and 2, which are in series, and the definition for capacitance in series is 1 over capacitance equivalent is equal to the sum of j equals 1 to n of 1 over cj. And so for our system, we can write 1 over ceq is equal to 1 over c1 plus 1 over C2. And so it'd be nice to combine this into one term, and so that means we're going to have to find a common denominator. And so we can multiply this fraction by C2 over C2, and this fraction by C1 over C1, essentially just multiplying by 1, but getting a common denominator. And so that's going to be equal to C2 over C1 C2 plus C1 over C1 C2. And so now that we have a common denominator, we can add these two terms to form one term. And so that is going to be equal to C2 plus C1 over C1 C2. And so now we're looking for CEQ. And so we can raise both sides to the negative one power or simply just invert the fractions. And so that's going to give us CEQ is equal to C1 C2 over C2 plus C1 for the series piece. So C1 and C2. And so now that we essentially combined capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 into one system, now we can treat that one system in parallel with capacitor 3. And so capacitance in parallel is defined as CEQ is equal to the sum of J equals 1 to N of CJ. And so this CJ for us is going to be two terms. One term is this whole system that we just made right here, and then also C3. And so CEQ is equal to C1, C2 over C2 plus C1, all that plus C3. And so that now takes into consideration every component of our system. And so we can plug in the values that we are given in the problem. And so this is going to be equal to 10 microfarads times 5 microfarads over 5 microfarads plus 10 microfarads. And then all that plus 4 microfarads. And if you plug all that into your calculator, you should find that the equivalent capacitance of the entire system is equal to 7.33 microfarads. And so that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.